On February 17th of this year, the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency launched a rocket carrying a satellite called Hitomi that was dubbed an astronomical observatory in space. It has the capacity to capture X-rays that otherwise escape detection on Earth. Not only will these rays allow researchers to take a look at what happens around black holes, they are also expected to provide them with information on the formation of galaxy clusters which will help further unravel some of the mysteries of the universe. Unfortunately, about a month later, the $273 million satellite tumbled out of control due to a combination of human and software errors. But right before it died, it sent one last image. Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. There has been a couple of really interesting news stories about black holes this past week and I thought I'd tell you guys about it here. First, let's talk about the satellite that died right after sending us its final picture. According to details released in a new paper published in Nature, this is what Hitomi saw right before it died. The Perseus Cluster, a galaxy cluster about 240 million light years from Earth with a massive black hole in the middle. The lost satellite was able to measure the X-ray activity of gases at the Perseus Cluster cluster center 50 times better than ever before. Although researchers expected to see a lot of turbulence and chaotic movements within the cluster because we thought gases there would be hot and dense with a lot of dark matter, but what they actually found was that the hot gases were moving at a much slower speed than expected. And this is important because it helps researchers measure the parameters of cosmology and the growth of structure in the universe. According to co-author Brian McNamara of the University of Waterloo, not not only were they surprised that everything was so relatively calm inside the cluster, it also gave them an insight into how black holes influence the eventual size of a galaxy. He said, this hot gas we're looking at with Hitomi is the stuff of the future. It's the gas out of which galaxies form. There is much more of this gas than there are stars in the galaxy, where there's more stuff that wasn't made into galaxies than that was. The surprise is that it turns out that the energy being pumped out of the black hole is being being very efficiently absorbed. What it shows is that black holes very effectively control the growth rate of galaxies. Losing this satellite was huge because just from the little bit of information we were able to gather before it went offline informed us a lot about what we thought we knew about how black holes impacted the formation of galaxies. And it really does show how little we really know about black holes. But we do know one thing, Black holes eat stars, and that brings us to our next story. By using the European VLBI network, which is a network of radio telescopes that lined together to create a massive Earth-sized telescope, researchers were able to see for the first time a close-up view of a jet of particles shooting out of a supermassive black hole at close to light speed in the Draco constellation 3.9 billion light years away. The jets are created when a star gets too close to a black hole, then the black hole will start to draw the star in, and some of that gas will form into a disk around the hole as gravitational energy was converted into electromagnetic radiation. Then some of the star matter will will eject from the black hole, thus creating a thin jet of light known as relativistic jet, which was discovered five years ago. In this case, researchers say the jet is the size of a two euro coin, and they are some of the sharpest measurements ever made by radio telescopes. According to Stephanie Camosa, astronomer at the Max Planck Institute for Radio Astronomy, observations with the next generation of radio telescopes will tell us more about what actually happens when a star is eaten by a black hole, and how powerful jets form and even evolve right next to black holes. You know, we are so interested in black holes because they are one of the least understood phenomena in space and we literally know almost nothing about them. Some of what we think we know is that the gravitational pull of a black hole can greatly slow down time itself. That's kind of like the whole interstellar thing. Some researchers think that every black hole contains a universe, which could mean that we are inside a black hole right now. We think their gravity is so strong that not even light can escape, and just recently, Stephen Hawking said that black holes might be portals to another universe, which is the theory I support the most. This is a very interesting space phenomenon, like we literally don't know what black holes are and what they do, and some of us don't even believe that they exist. They're pretty much the ghost of the universe. Also, when a black hole eats a star, does it 
pull it out anywhere? Things to think about. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts about these couple stories in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. See ya.